Chapter 5, Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. I had no idea you could do that. Uh, yeah, you could. It's cool. It doesn't get you anything, but it's cool. Good to be here, as always. Well, we're, we're glad to have you here. Ah. Just smell that fresh air. Oh, hello. Someone left a stopwatch. Cool. Ah, look at the local fauna. These give out hearts. They're called heart plants. Well, occasionally they give out hearts. You can activate these propeller flowers by pushing the Z button while standing on top of them. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Actually, no, we should keep Watt out for a moment. Ah, I see Colorado's being harassed by a yellow piece of lint. What? <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that! I, I didn't mean to stop on your head, Colorado! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, alright. Learn something new every day. Anyway, these are jungle fuzzies. They have 7 HP, 2 attack, and no defense. Unlike regular fuzzies, you'll have to tear them off by mashing the A button for your action command. Oh yeah, they can also duplicate, because they're jerks. <sighs> Jungle Fuzzies can do a maximum of four damage before they'll eventually just rip themselves off of you, so... But, you know. Generally, when I have something that's trying to leech my life through my face, I like to get it off as soon as possible. Alright! Okay. But, along the beach, there's some hidden blocks. This one... ...holds a Repel Gel. Uh, don't know what to get rid of. Hold on. This might seem a little wasteful, but we got plenty of items and plenty of cash. We'll be okay. Uh, let's see. I think... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Up here, I got a letter to Igor in Boo's shop. Let's see, is it this tree? No. It's this tree. Which drops a star piece. Ah! Good old Yoshi's Island. Well, I mean, I know it's called Lava Lava Island, but there are Yoshis on this island, therefore it is a Yoshi's Island. Alright, so we're gonna save here. Uh, we can't go into the jungle yet, we have no reason to, so we'll go over this away. Actually, I need to check, I need to stash some items. Can't argue with that logic? Okay, good. <laughs> Check. This Repel Gel. And this Snowman Doll. No. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sell this Maple Super. I mean, really, because I can't use any FP, it's just another Super Shroom, and it's worth a lot of cash. No, I didn't want to sell anything else. Okay. In we go. Ugh, Colorado, always in trouble. Now you're being hit with a stick.
These are Spear Guys. Spear Guys have 7 HP, 3 attack, no defense. Uh, based on the direction that their spears are pointing, will determine how you can actually hit them. If their spears are pointed up, like this guy here, you'll have to hit them with your hammer. If they're pointed in front, like this guy, you'll have to jump on them. Alright. Alright. Saved Colorado again. Now, if you notice, behind that leaf, there's an item. This is a jam and jelly. It is the Ultra Shroom of FP recovery items. It restores 50 FP. I think that might be a little overkill for us. Yep, that's a volcano. Okay, we'll go back to the village. Huh? Oh, not again. What? Ha ha ha! Very funny! Hey look, when you're boiling alive in some kind of pot, don't expect me to help you out again. Huh? Well that can't be good, the music's changed! If I know my video game logic, when the music changes, something bad happens. Okay, General Panic, what's going on? Ah, yes, children in the jungle. That is generally a good situation to panic about. Okay. Okay. Alright. Another rescue mission. No big deal, no big deal. Ooh, a coin. Ah, the wildlife. And the fauna. So beautiful. So peaceful. So blood hungry. Yeah. So yeah, some of the heart plants that you see, they're actually not heart plants. They're hurt plants. They have 8 HP, 2 attack, and no defense. And their bite can poison you. Generally there's no way, there's like no indi- oh I missed. Ah. Thankfully, I still have my Feeling Fine badge, so uh, I can't get poisoned. But yeah, as I was saying before I fumbled my action command, there's no way to tell the difference between a heart plant and a hurt plant without interacting with it. Yo, this that lag is not very cool. There, that's better. This one should be a heart plant? Yes. Search through the brush. Hmm, that one looks kind of weird. Oh no, we've been ambushed! By an ambush. It has 8 HP, 3, to 3 attack, no defense. Its bite is also poisonous. But yeah, as you can see, uh, the wild, the fauna is not very nice around here. Ah! Ooh! Power boost! I'm alright with this. Go get him, Watt. <laughs> Another coin. Huh? Someone's in distress. You 
No, I'm pretty sure that trees aren't a fish's natural habitat. Blonk. Yep, very far away. We rode on a whale to get here. Sushi, joined your party. Press down C on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press down C again while riding her, she'll dive deep for a short time. While in battle, she can jump attack with belly flop or douse enemies with her squirt ability. So Sushi is really good against fire-based enemies, which makes her especially good in this chapter. But, uh, unfortunately, Squirt requires FP, and we can't use any FP, so we're gonna have to get pretty fancy if we're gonna deal with fire enemies. Hello. Oh, the sea's not ready? Alright. So I'll be here giving stuff to people. Okay, we'll just come back later and pick the seed up. But yeah, you can only, uh, get into the water on these- from these piers. Oh, there's a letter in the tree. To Rusty. Alright. And by the way, thankfully you cannot fall into the water, like you can in Thousand Year Door, where you just take a point of damage for doing so. I hear someone snoozing. Bonk. Hmm. Wow. Oh yeah, spear guys can also call in reinforcements. They can even throw their spears at you and just turn into regular old shy guys. Although they actually become less dangerous when they do that. Since, you know... Shy guys who are just shy guys and are not as dangerous as shy guys who carry spears. Case in point. Excellent. In this box, it's the Power Quake Badge. Greatly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. It's like Quake Hammer, but better. <laughs> Just sailing down the jungle, riding a fish. You know, as you do. Let's see. Uh-oh. See, this path will take us back to where the whale is, but we don't need to go there yet. Hmm. Alright, just a bunch of M bushes. We're gonna switch into... Watt. Since Watt deals four damage, we can actually take care of M bushes in one round that way. Ow. Uh, I want to use an item. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give him the shock. I like the little sounds that the ambushes make when they're walking. Just a little... Talk, 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 talk.
Okay. Scoop up these coins. And behind bush number two... ...is a little red Yoshi kid. Alright, that's one, but there's still four left. Alright, so now we can go over here. And to the right, there's another spear guy. Let's keep double teaming the ones that we can. I must admit, it certainly makes fighting more annoying that I can't use my flower points. But again, that's the whole point of this challenge. I'm just grateful that they keep putting their spears down so that Sushi can attack them safely. Blah. Oop, sorry, I hit my microphone adjustment. Ooh! More coins! It's a veritable bonanza! And over here, I think that's another hurt plant, so we're just gonna take this super block and upgrade Sushi. We will learn Water Block, which, when used, will increase Mario's defense. Okay, so over here... Oh, another coin. Okay, so as you can see, this looks kind of suspicious. I mean, there's a coin above this, what looks like a Venus fly trap. Actually, it's a Venus plumber trap. If you grab the coin, you'll take a point of damage. So it's up to you whether or not that trade is worth it. Oh, goody. A fright jar. My favorite. Oh, I don't want to go this way yet. Use this propeller flower. Take to the skies. Boy, it's a good thing we're paper and really aerodynamic. I mean, I could fight all of these guys. Actually, you know what I am going to do? I'm going to have Gumbario tattle one of them, just so that I can get their HP bars. It's bugging me that I don't have them. And then we're just going to use uh, Starstorm and just get rid of them all. Who has time to fight? Not me. Okay. Search through these bushes. Find a warp pipe. Once again, we're in the dark, so we're gonna get Watt out. Find the green Yoshi kid. Okay, that's two. Three left. Alright, thanks for your help, Watt, but now we need sushi again. Go over here, get a free star piece. Sorry, I was just checking something. Here's the blue Yoshi kid.
Okay, so I think in this tree... Yep, we got a jungle fuzzy. Oh, that's not too scary. And quick change is so good! Oh, you missed. I was ready to have button mash, but then you screwed up. Bring sushi back out again. <laughs> okay, so that's three. So we have two left. Okay. I have su I have the superior technology. Yuck. But yeah, I've noticed that, like, from chapter 3, 4, and 5, enemies don't really change much in terms of their strength. Like, it seems like most enemies have about the same HP and about the same amount of attack power. They're just more difficult to hit. They might have some more annoying skills to use, but the difficulty seems kind of steady from about chapter 3 to chapter 5. At least that's kind of what I've picked up on over my years of playing this game. I have to admit, my HP is actually getting kind of low, but uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really that worried about it. I'm a trained professional. Sixty-four star points again. Let's see, what's in this tree? Nothing? That's okay. Huh? Uh-oh! Hey, you bullies! That kid's not on the menu! Again with the tripping Mario. These are putrid piranhas. They have 12 HP, 2 or 3 attack, and no defense. Uh, they can either attempt to bite you for 3 damage, or they can spit a poison cloud at you for 2 damage. And their bad breath can poison you, which will steadily sap your HP. I actually don't want you to do the bite, because it actually is chipping away at my HP. Ooh, a defense boost! Sweet! I mean, I still guard it anyway, force a habit. You know what? I'm actually gonna have... 
I'm gonna focus. Recover my star power. Nothing to it. Okay. Is there anything else over here? Nope. That's alright. Okay. So now we're gonna go over here, just as soon as we pick up this cache that's in the water. Someone's asleep. Oh, another fuzzy. Great. Oh yeah! Not doing so good on the HP, but we're almost done with this little section, so hopefully it will be enough to s uh, see us through. Ah, that's a little better. Alright, sorry, purple Yoshi kid, nap time's over. And with that, all of the Yoshi kids have been rescued. The villagers will be overjoyed, so let's head back. And we can create a nice little shortcut. Oh, okay, and now that we're here, we can actually give that letter to the red Yoshi kid. Here you go. Okay, so we gotta take this letter back to Dang T in Toad Town. We can do that once we're uh, all done here. Oh, hello, Elder. All right. We could use some help reaching the volcano. Got the Jade Raven. Huh. Raphael the Raven, huh? Okay. Well, yes, volcanoes are generally hot and dangerous. Alright, well, glad to have you along, Sushi. There's also a star piece here. Cha-ching! Okay. Let's see, I need to unclog my inventory because we're actually going to need to bring some very specific items along with us. No? Now we're going to sell this Fright Jar. Oh, I have six items, excellent. That's plenty of space. We're going to claim... 
The snowman dolls. No. Alright, now we're gonna take a much deserved nap. Now we're gonna save. Now that we're all rested up, we're gonna go back into the jungle. <laughs> 